Hello, my name is Paul Neider, and I will be discussing my project part two, Michelle Blade and artwork creation. Michelle Blade was born in 1981 in Los Angeles, California. She received her BA in art at Loyola Marymount in Los Angeles, California in 2003. She went on to receive her MFA from the California College of Arts in San Francisco, California in 2008. Currently, she's working on introspective narratives based on nature landscapes. This first piece is called Solar Cell. It's created in 2017 using acrylic on paper. When you look at the painting, you see a lot of value contrast. You see that the two people in the middle clearly are the point of interest as they, in the middle of the page, um, two of the darkest, uh, the, the dark figures on the page as all the attention has been brought to them. Um, you see a lot of cool versus warm colors, color scheme. As you look at the um, background, you see a lot of warm colors, which appears to be the sun, a lot of purples, yellows, a lot of oranges. And then when you look at the ground, you see a lot of blues, um, some grays and greens, but it's a lot darker and appears to be cool versus warm. Um, you see this circular pattern in the background, which also brings attention in as um, the sun reflects onto the ground. Uh, when you look onto the ground, you see the sun reflection. You can also see the shadows of the people as their silhouettes are, per are reflected onto the ground. This second art piece was created on 2018 on acrylic ink on paper. Um, you can see the detail contrast of the two people as the flowers has a lot of detail in it compared to the rest of the painting. There's a lot of colors in here these two people and the flowers that bring in the viewer's point of interest um you can see the there's some lightness to it versus the darkness of the background which is the sky and the moon the point of interest is clearly these two people i think the detail and contrast really brings that out as there isn't much detail within the flowers itself but compared to the rest of the painting all the all the details within the flowers so they use a lot of colors here but I think it's mostly cool versus warm, as there's mostly cool, uh, warm colors in the people. You see yellows, reds, versus the, you know, orange, blues, the dark background. This third piece of Michelle Blade depicts a house that has been caught on fire and what appears to be the homeowner on the other side of the house um, watching. Um, if you see the background is very light, it seems to be during the day, um, which appears to be the ground beneath is possibly a reflection, it's a pool of water. Um, clearly all of the interest is on the fire. Um, you see the house is completely engulfed in the fumes, a lot of oranges and yellows on the house. You can see the, you can still see some of the windows, you can see a tree that's on fire. Um, also a lot of smoke, the, the whole top left part of the painting appears to be covered with smoke. Um, I think the dark use of colors adds to a sadness of the painting. Um, the lack of sunlight in this painting also adds to that. The sadness is, appears to just be a plain white background with some yellowing from the possible smoke in it. Um, you see uh, you see reoccurring themes of her work where there's a lot of detail in this one small area um, which brings in the point of view of the viewer. This painting was created using acrylic on paper. Um, you see two girls standing on some sort of ledge, staring out to this volcano, which appears to be erupting. Um, it's very similar to Solar Cell, which is also used acrylic on paper. See, there's a lot of colors in the background. Um, a lot of different kinds of dark colors expressing what's going on. Um, you see the volcano, you see a little bit of red, which appears to be lava, a lot of yellow, some grays and blues, which appear to be the sky being covered by all this smog. Um, the only light colors you see are the two girls um, standing at the ledge and what appears to be possibly snow at the volcano. Um, this is a great scaling used. It shows the girls over at the ledge looking out to the volcano, showing how big it is. And this is very similar to solar cells. There's a tons of colors used, a lot of blending going on, and which uh, and it's doing a great way of showing what's happening without giving away a lot of detail. This last art piece is also done with acrylic painting on paper. It is 
see all these people standing on what appears to be a ridge looking out into this beautiful sky. Um, you see there's so many bright colors in the sky. It's very similar to the solar cell and some of the other acrylic paintings Michelle has done in the past. Um, tons of bright colors in the background, which is the focal point of this. Great use of scale, showing how small the people are and how big the ridge they're standing on is. As the viewer, we're looking at them from far away, and we can see that the uh, back background is big. It's beautiful. It's clearly a great thing, great point of interest to look at. For my selected artwork, I chose one of my friends. Um, he's depicted here as he's in front of a ski, in a ski lodge in front of a mountain. Um, there's a lot of snow. You see, the sky is pretty gray. I think it'd be a great way to kind of interpret the way. Michelle Blade does her work with a lot of shading, um, at the silhouette of the person, the coolness of the snow versus the darkness of the tree, the darkness of the background. So I think I could do a great work of interpreting her style of uh, artwork. This concludes my part two of the three part project below. You'll find the works cited page with all of my sources. Thank you. Have a good day.